What's here in this box is going back here, and it's hopefully going to make all of these run a whole lot better. April in Minnesota, and we still got a pile of snow. Got some fresh yesterday. But it's finally like 50 degrees nice enough to poke around and get some stuff done on the Camus to get ready for spring. And I just got something here in this box, a little upgrade for the Camus. So uh, I'm going to try to dig in, attempt to get some installation work done, some upgrades done, so that when this crap melts and the ice melts, we'll get it out there and test it out. To your box unpacked and show you what I all got. And then we'll peek in here and figure out how we're going to do it and get it all set up. All right, first thing we got here is a nice aluminum battery tray, a nice ratchet strap. Then we got a 16 volt powerhouse lithium 80 amp. We are going to install this. Got to get this app and everything installed here. Nice little instructions. But uh, that boy is going in to be the sole power of all four of my graphs. And then a uh, little run and gun. We'll talk more about this later, but this is uh, this is a key part to make sure we never run out of juice uh, on our graphs. And then a uh, nice little install kit, which we'll see a little more about that. But all this is going to make those run all the much better. And those ones way up there too. Step one, let's install the app. See what it's all about. One was to figure out the layout here. I thought about trying to cram it in over here by my AGM. I could remount this Minn Kota Precision charger somewhere, but I'm gonna leave that there. And I was able just to spin one of my 12 volt trolling motor batteries, and I'll be able to move, make room for the powerhouse tray right there. But I can see why people want to go to the 236 volt. Makes more room, makes some more. But this still works. Still have all the access to the compartments here. The CX20. Still got room for my prop to sit right there, so I think this is going to work. There's the aluminum tray. Comes with nice torque heads. Got this nice rubber mat to lay down in the compartment. And now we'll thread up this heavy-duty ratchet strap that comes with the tray. Just like that, she's strapped in. Ready to rock. Now we just got to do up the wiring. All right, installed, just about done. We got some cleanup and some wires to clean up and wrap up, but we have added the Powerhouse Lithium 16 volt 80 amp hour to run the electronics. We've got that running on a run and gun system from our AGM starting cranking battery. So basically the leads come off that into the run and gun. These ones go to the Powerhouse Lithium. So basically whether I'm running my outboard or my Minn Kota charger, once this is charged, it overflows through here, charges that. So that's redundancy in having lots of extra power for my units. <clears throat> and then on top of that, we have this three-way perco. When I turn it this way, it runs off the 16 volt. You can see the Garmin's happy, it turned on up there. And obviously I can put it back in the middle position to be off, but if for every reason, if there was a problem with my powerless lithium, if I ran out of juice because I was out there so long and I didn't use my main motor to charge it, I can crank it over here. And now <laughs> this three-way perk goes around off my AGM and the Garmin comes back on. Basically to set up this three-way switch, we've got the positives to both batteries and then the outbound going into my fuse panel for all my electronics, basically, the lithium ground, the EGM ground, and the ground of electronics go to that little grounding bolt. And that is set up so that now I can cut all power, I can run on my lithiums, or I can run EGM in a pinch if I need to. The purpose of this right here is to have clean, dedicated power. Now I have power that is not tied to anything but my graphs. All my pumps, lights, live wells, all that stuff on the EGM the motor, the starting. All the electronics have their own set. 16 volt, so I get maximum voltage. Give the Garmin as much juice as it possibly can get to run as possibly. And we'll be able to tell if this is actually gonna make a difference because with this switch, I can go from 12 to 16 volt. So in a future video, we're gonna be able to test out whether it makes a damn bit of difference or not, but that'll be an easy thing to test. Now that the AGM doesn't have to power any of those helixes, any of those Garmin units, 360 or anything like that, and all it has to do is run the pumps, the lights, and the big motor, the chances of it ever going dead or running low or not being able to start go way down. 
So that's good. So basically, we've kind of got inline power with my cranking battery by doubling up the batteries, but we also have it isolated on its own battery for powering electronics. So that should be the best of both worlds, and we're going to be testing that out very soon on the water, as soon as all this freaking ice and snow melts. I'm seeing if this is going to make the 360 or the Garmin unit run hotter, better, clearer, further. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the notification, and we'll be watching that soon. Interested in how I rigged up my 360 and some tips and tricks how to get the most out of a single unit 360? Check this video on the screen coming up right here.